The actor Gareth played Blake in the 1970s BBC sci-fi series Blake 7 has died. He was 71. Gareth Thomas was best known on television, but he was also a fine stage actor and appeared with the Royal Shakespeare Company. In this documentary about Blake 7, Gareth explained the appeal of the series and his character Rog Blake. I suppose it was a very, very simplistic concept of good against evil. He was a natural leader, but he was deeply flawed. I don't think he had any friends. I think he was very much a loner. I think a born leader has to be a loner. Yeah, Gareth Thomas had plenty of friends, though. I'm delighted to say we can talk to one of them now. Stephen Greif played Travis opposite him in Blake 7 and was a close friend for many years. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, Peter. I, I, I understand you went all the way back to drama school, is that right? That's how we did. Um, right the way back to, in fact, to my first term at drama school when we were all waiting in a room like a bunch of cats on a, a lot of rocking chairs to, to see this chap who was a year ahead of us give us a talk and inbounded this fellow with leotards and a beard and a wonderful Welsh lilt in his voice. And it was Gareth. And uh, he put us at our ease in a matter of moments. And we all we were endeared to him for that. And that was the beginning of a, a very long friendship with him. Yes. Um, the thing is that uh, people remember that television series, but he was much more than that as an actor, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. He was a super actor, Gareth. He was at RADA. It was clear that he was. And... Uh, very shortly after he left, if I remember, he went and did a play called Stocker's Copper for the BBC. Yeah, I remember and, well. Uh, and yeah. made a big hit in that. No, you're absolutely right. He was a super actor. Now, tell us a bit about... Um, he will be forever associated with Blake. And uh, you were Travis. Uh, you, you were quite nasty. I said, weren't you the eye patch guy? <laughs> I'm afraid I was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- uh, tell us about the, the, the dynamic of that series. Why, why did so many people like it and remember it so fondly? Um, I think it was really because of the characters in it. Um, people liked the characters and their relationships with each other. And um, uh, Blake and his six uh, 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 friends and associates, of course, had their own interrelationships. But then you had people like... Uh, myself and mm. Jackie Pierce, who played Servalan, who were his antagonists. And the dynamic between us, or myself and, and, and he and Jackie and him, yeah. were also very good. So it worked on all levels. People did, liked the characters. The plots weren't so quite important. No, did, did Gareth take it all seriously, or was it just an, <laughs> another job? I mean, uh, it was a bit, uh, it was a bit like the, um, I suppose, the Magnificent Seven in space, really, wasn't it? Yeah. That's very good, Peter. I guess it was, in a way. Um, He took it really seriously. We all did. And Gareth, uh, we had a lot of fun. But Gareth and I, when we did our scenes, worked really, really hard to to make them work and give them vibrancy and freshness. And sometimes that involved a little tweaking of the script in order to make it it work. Nobody minded very much. Uh, he was, he was, um, yeah, he was a Trojan in terms of work. Uh, we all were. We wanted to just make it, make it as good as it could be. As a bloke, uh, what was he like? Ah, oh. <laughs> he was a Welshman through and through, the best. I mean, you know, he had a marvellous voice. He had a great sense of humour, always laughing. And um, he was fond of a pint, and why not? <laughs> a good man's failing. It sounds very much like the Gareth Thomas uh, I remember. Uh, um, The thing about it is that uh, he was a a Welshman. He was one of a generation of Welsh actors. Uh, Did he wear it lightly, or was he was he really a Welshman with his heart on his sleeve? No, no, he was a Welshman through and through. Really proud of it, and um, um, but not not showing it off as a badge or anything. It was part of the. His DNA, obviously, it flowed through his veins, but he could also do, you know, he could do everything else as well. His English was impeccable, a great voice, as I said, always fond of quoting poetry and stuff, uh, and, a, and a knowledgeable man. Um, no, he was, he was, he was a good all-rounder, was our Gareth. Thank you very much for that appreciation of Gareth Thomas by Stephen Greif, who played opposite him in Blake 7 and was a friend for 50 years.